Hello and welcome to another .py Python video tutorial. In this video, I'll be going through how we can change between different virtual environments if we're using Spider as our IDE for writing Python code. If you've installed Spider use by getting the Anaconda package and you're using Windows, under your start, ma start menu, you sh should have this Anaconda folder, Anaconda 3. I've got the 64-bit version. And within that folder, there should be a whole list of programs that you can see here. If you open the Anaconda Navigator, which I've already opened in the background here, the Anaconda Navigator makes it really easy for us to create new environments, virtual environments, and swap between them before we launch Spider. So you can see there's a few tabs here on the left. If I click to Environments, and there's a few more tabs here. When you install the Anaconda package, you start off with the base root environment. So every package you install is going to go to the base root environment. If we want to create another virtual environment, we can do that just by clicking the Create button here, giving it a name, and making sure we click Python to make it a Python environment. That way we have another virtual environment if we want to install different packages, different versions of packages, and keep it separate from our base environment. So I can change to environment 2 by clicking here. And what's going to happen is all the packages that are inside, these are the ones inside the base environment, are going to change so you can see all the ones inside environment 2, just like that. So now we're in environment 2. What we're going to do is go back home, and you can see Environment 2 is written up here. I don't have to go to the Environments tab. I can actually change the package, uh, the virtual environment that I'm working in from this down drop box. And in here, um, in this window, we have a list of um, programs that we can launch from our environment. So you can see that one of those is Spider, and it's ready to launch. I've already clicked Install for this one in my Environment 2. So when you set up a new environment, a good chance you'll have to click install before you can launch Spider. If I click launch, just like that, make sure that you don't have Spider open already before you click launch. Spider's going to launch, and when it does open, it should be launching from environment 2, because that's what I've had selected in this drop-down menu here. So all the packages that are launched with Spider are going to be the ones that come with environment 2. Cool. So we've launched Spider. Let's just double check that we're in our environment 2 virtual environment. I can do that just by typing tip capital V enter I'll move my face and you can see um, file path where it's getting the packages from and inside the environments folder we're in the environment to virtual environment. So I hope that's been helpful and give you an easy way to switch between virtual environments before launching Spider. Thanks for watching.